There he is! Come on, traitor! Imperial Guard. Take a fine cut! Some gold. This should help. I'll spill your time quick. You're quite resource fry me, Red Guard. You're open! Put it down. Pipe and cut! I'm quick! This time. It's a strength potion. Some gold. This should help. Dwarven artifacts. I wonder what the Imperials hope to find. Dwarven artifacts. I wonder what the Imperials hope to find. Try me, Red Guard. Traitor. Ha ha! You! You're quite resourceful. Uh -huh. Yield! Uh -huh. Yield! Or there'll be more! Yield! You're slow! You won't escape! Ah. Put it down! Ah. It's a strength potion. Dwarven artifacts. I wonder what the Imperials hope to find.
There he is. You're ah! Yield. Uh. You're a fool, Red Dog. Put it down. Is that the best you've got? Hey! Excellent. What's this? What's this? What's this? I'm quick! Step it up, Rebel! You're all a fine cut! Too quick! Ah! It's a strength potion. It's one of the pirates! Take that! It's a strength potion. Is that the best you've got? You've already lost. Excellent. Lad? Larry, sweetheart. What? God, surround him! That's showing him, Red God! You're all. Hey! Some gold. This should help. Well?
Come on, yield, or there'll be more. Come on. should help. Old man, I am Cyrus. Cyrus, eh? Never heard of you. Must be new around here. My name's Fabus. Everybody just calls me Fabus, though. You're in charge of this bell tower? Don't want to be, but I'm stuck with it. Dan Purnell's fault leaves me stuck here while he sits up in the cool breeze and watches Hunden Bay roll by. Does he think I'd like to wave the flag once in a while? Stubborn as a mule he is, and ungrateful to boot. Purnell, a friend of yours? Friend? Ha! <laughs> Blind as a bat he is, but will he ever let me wave the flag? No! Too stuffy down there, he says. You fall off the chair, he says. Always some excuse. Now he's gone and broken the bell. Don't know why I put up with it. The bell doesn't look broken. Well, not broken exactly, but I'm sure it doesn't ring as loud as it used to. But Purnell wouldn't let me have like he look at it, would he? Insisted on doing it himself. Typical. Took him half the day, then had the nerve to tell me there's nothing wrong with it. I'm not sure if I've met Lakeen. Me neither. Now that Lakeen, on the other hand, handiest young fellow I ever met, can fix anything. Hey! You look like a handy sort yourself. Maybe you could take a look at it for me. Sure, I'd be happy to. Good lad. <clears throat> there, there, young fella. What's this? Hmm, nothing wrong with this. What's bell. this? Just the old man's What's ears this? that need fixing. Favis, how are you doing? Been better, been worse. I checked and there's nothing wrong with the bell. Good lad, I was right. That fool Brunel said it didn't need fixing, but I knew it needed fixing, so you fixed it, eh? Well, I'm much obliged. My ship was attacked by two members of the Restless League just off Stros Mackay. What can you tell me about them? Not much. Fire-eating Red Guard Nationalists. More even than most crowns could stomach. But they've kept quiet since the old quarter was burned. I wonder why they decided to attack your ship. I don't know. How long has it been since their last attack? Hmm. Must have been a month or two at least. Their last big success was blowing up Richmond's flagship right here in the harbor. A pity in a way. Whatever else you say about the Imperials, they make beautiful ships. With that little caper cost the League plenty. Afterwards, Rickton rounded up anyone who'd ever spoken to a Leaguesman. I was starting to think he had crushed them completely. That's all for now, Favis. Favis, how are you doing? Been better, better. That's all for now, Favis.
Greetings, my lady. I am Silas. A sentinel accent, isn't it? I am Cassandra, silversmith of Stros Mackay. Pleased to meet you. I'm told of a legendary magical flask, supposed to be buried somewhere on the island. Sounds fascinating. I love stories of buried treasure. I've killed several Imperial soldiers who had broken into your house. I hope that won't cause you any trouble with the governor. Hmm. The governor should hope I don't cause him any trouble over this. What possible reason could his soldiers have for breaking into my house? A loyal forebear, of all people, one of his few potential allies in the city. Not a good sign for the Empire's future here in Hammerfell. I think I know why those soldiers were searching your house. The governor may think you have part of a map showing the location of the flask of Lilandro. Why would he think that? I'd never even heard of this flask before I came here. I've learned that one piece of the map is engraved on a silver ship. Sound familiar? No, but I inherited a load of junk when I bought this shop. I put it all in my storeroom next to my house, but I haven't had time to look through it. Here, take the key. If you find this ship, keep it. It's only bringing me trouble. Are you from Sentinel originally? Yes. I owned a shop there for six years, on Market Street. Perhaps you know it? Sentinel is overcrowded these days, and when I heard of a business for sale here, I decided to take the chance. So far, I haven't had too much trouble from the locals. Why would the local people give you trouble? Forebears aren't exactly popular around here, you know. I've never been much involved in politics, but I always supported the forebear cause. Before the war, all that didn't matter. I had many friends who were crowns, but things are different now. You're new here, then? Arrived only two months ago. I'm still trying to get things sorted out. The former owner must not have cleaned this place for 20 years. There was so much junk piled up. I tossed most of it in my warehouse next door just to get it out of the way. The old silversmith. He left because of the war? He died, actually. I bought the shop from his estate. I guess there was some kind of incident in the old quarter where the most fanatical crowns lived. I've been told of a smuggler's den under the cartographer's shop. Have you heard of it? Sure I have. Smuggler's den. Ha! <laughs> a pretty grandiose name for a place where the local boys go to get away from their wives and play cards. So do you think it's nothing more sinister than that? Well. I've heard rumors it was connected with the Restless League, but they're hard to take seriously if a joker like Lakeen could get in. Lakeen? Who's he? The local handyman. Not a bad sort. Don't get me wrong, but a bit lunatic fringe. Hardly what I'd call the foundation of a revolution. What does Lakeen have to do with the smuggler's den? Oh, I really shouldn't gossip, but I'm sure you won't tell anyone, will you, Cyrus? Seems he was gambling at the smuggler's den and lost his wife's antique silver locket. He came to me, desperate to have it replaced, so she wouldn't find out. I'd have been glad to help, but I couldn't reproduce it simply from his description. Poor fellow, he went away quite crushed. Excuse me, perhaps we can speak later.
nothing. What's this? It's one of the pirates! Try me, Red Guard! Come on! For now, I found your eyepiece. Here you go. Well, glory be! How can I ever thank you, Cyrus, my boy? I know! I'll let you wave the flag. It'll be our little secret, eh? Go on, take it! Take it! An opportunity like this don't come along every day! All right, uh, I, I think... That's a spirit! You're... I'm quick! Ugh. Try me, Red Guard! One moment. Sorry, man. Imperials everywhere. I don't talk with strangers. I cut you. Too slow. <laughs> Five gold pieces. Hold up a sec. Look, go pass to someone else. Can you heal me, brother? Uh, go. 
Until later, Brother Nittle. Goodbye. Speak up, I've got work to do. Myco, is my map ready yet? Yes, here it is. Well, whoever made these notes was obviously a trained cartographer, probably of Mandry's school, judging from the transverse error correction measurements. May this map serve you well, young sir. Hold up a sec. Lock, go past his son. We heard about your capture, Cyrus. I was never worried, laddie. They didn't see you at Sunker Tour when that Akavir mongrel. Tobias, I have to tell you something important. Zara was part of the Restless League. What? It's true. We'll start at the beginning. I met the governor, beautiful man. He told me that Azara was in the Restless League and that he had nothing to do with her disappearance. But he's been hunting them. He knows more than that. I believe him about Azara. He's the kind that would gloat if he could. He's still not found their hideout. I have to find it first. How did you escape? Good looks. The catacombs let out near the harbor and they seem to sprawl for miles. I didn't see any dragons, though. It must have returned to Cyrodiil. From starvation, I guess. There's no one left in the League to feed it. They're all in good hiding somewhere here in Stros Mackay. And Azara is with them. I have to find the Restless League, Captain. They say they can be contacted through the abandoned lighthouse over in Saintsport. Aye, a League's man I met in the Catagombs told me that I could signal his mates from there. But he didn't tell me how. I don't know the signal. Sorry, Cyrus. I don't either. Damn. You best find someone who's seen it and hope they haven't told the Empire about it already. I don't have much time. Thanks again, Tobias. Cast off, laddie. And don't forget your old cotton.
Excellent. She floats through my dreams with the greatest of ease. The fat one-eyed lady with sweet-smelling knees. Name Cyrus. You okay? No, I'm Crendel. Ever heard of the Flask of Lilandril? Ah, the, uh, the Flask of Lilandril. Everything good in life comes in, in a decanter. Any ideas on how to contact the Restless League? Here's an idea, Redguard. Tie a gold chest around your ankle and sink yourself. <laughs> You've certainly spent a lot of time at the local tavern. Wickton's got that damn lizard Drikius charging three gold pieces for lousy Vale and Wood wine. He freaks me out. Picking flies off the bar with his tongue. I can't, uh, I can't relax with that going on. Just like a drunk to blame the bartender for his troubles. Ha! Who, who, who the heck do you blame for yours? Anyway, tough guy. I know Drikius' story. Just no one, no one else does. Damn, damned Argonians. And Dark Elves got it right. Cage him up and, and let him haul ash. Don't like Argonians either. Who do you like, Crendel? Fine, then! Fine! Hang around that scaly bastard and catch the flu. There hasn't been a case of that in 200 years. All I'm saying, those of us who play our cards right could open a right good belt shop. Yeah. Liquor tax? That's right! It's a r real shock that sailors don't hang around anymore. Rickton doesn't have you scared? No, sir, Reed. I kicked his fat butt. <laughs> I've had enough. Good. Garrick, how are you? Splendid, Cyrus. Splendid! I've heard tell of a magical flask hidden somewhere on the island. Do you know anything about it? The flask of Lelandro, far famed in song and legend, from my own homeland of Somerset Isle, you know. And you must have heard of the mysterious map. Always a map. You know of a map to the flask? Oh, yes. According to legend, the ship carrying the flask and its owners was shipwrecked on Stros Mackay. That was all back thousands of years ago, before the Red Guards ever came to Hammerfell, you understand. Perhaps a survivor hid the flask and made a map. Who knows? Trithic could tell you more, though. Trithic, huh? He used to be quite the flask hound. Why, I must have sold him six shovels over the years. I'd like to make a purchase. Splendid. What do you need? The shovel over there. How much? A sturdy shovel. Just the thing for the intrepid treasure hunter. Gar I'll take it. A pleasure doing business with you, Cyrus. That looks like a decent compass. The one item no one should be without. Never lose your way again. For the small investment of 50 gold, peace of mind for a lifetime. <laughs> I'll take it. You won't regret it. 
Interesting feathers. Ah, yes, from the exotic canna bird, a favorite of mine, for they are bred on Somerset Isle, bred for their beauty, I might add. They make an excellent gift for ten gold. I'm a pretty bird. Ten gold. I'll take it. The best quality, I assure you. I need the beauty. I'll take a pleasure. I need more. The beauty. I'll take it. You want. Thanks for the time, Garrett. <laughs>